Welcome to the Easy Filatune tutorial. At the very end, I'll be including recipes for achieving a variety of different anime, tune, comic book, and dark mystery styles, as well as other non-photorealistic styles that you can achieve with the Easy Filatune presets. I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick setup of this scene. And afterwards, we'll go through all of the presets so you guys will know exactly what they do. And it'll give you an idea of how you can customize your scenes and the different looks that you can get from Easy Filatoon. To find my product, you will go to your DAS 3D library, People, Genesis 9 Tune, and Easy Filatoon. I want you to find the green icon that says load this first and double click it. This will load a group in your scene which includes the Easy Filatune Camera A, a Distant Light, and a Filament Draw option. Now this is a custom draw option as well as custom light setup. And this is one of my favorites from my product, so I went ahead and included it in this quick load. Go ahead and use the drop down up here in the upper right to change the perspective to the Easy Filatune Camera. Now adjust the camera to where you want it. I kind of like figures a little bit offset. Uh, it's a little more artsy in my opinion. Once you have the camera positioned, click on your Genesis 9 figure and find the corresponding preset. If you have a female figure, apply the base feminine. If you have a male figure, apply the base masculine. This is a female figure. You will get a pop-up that says that it will now run on one selected Genesis 9 figure. Hit OK. This will run a script that automatically dials in the anime base shape at 60%. It removes the realistic eyes, realistic mouth, and it applies the tune eyes and the tune mouth as well as the tune eyebrow. Once the script is finished, you'll get a pop-up and it will list all of the parented items to the figure that you'll want to apply the other presets to, and I'll show you how to do that. Go ahead and hit OK. Now we'll take a look and see what it's added here. It has gotten rid of the regular eyes and the regular mouth and it added the tune eyes and mouth. Now, the script is meant to look for eyebrows and often removes them. In this case, the eyebrow was not removed, so it cannot find every single eyebrow type. This particular case, it was still here, so if the realistic eyebrows are still left behind, go ahead and delete it because it has loaded the tune eyebrows, unless, of course, you like the look of the realistic eyebrow more. Now we'll go ahead and select the clothing items that she is wearing. We'll go ahead and hit control and select each clothing item. And then we'll want to expand the Easy Filatune product and find the EF4 clothing. Find the clothing base, apply this first and double click on it. It will tell you how many nodes the script will run on and hit OK. This adds the Filatune outline as well as the Easy Filatune shader presets to your clothing items. And as you can see, it automatically selects the surfaces of selected figures in your scene so that it can apply the shaders automatically. And you can go ahead and adjust the different preset that you would like to use. Now we'll select the hair. Go to the hair folder. Find the hair prep seat tutorial. Make sure your hair surfaces are selected. This is an added step needed for anything that uses the uncut out opacity channel. Hair that has trans maps like this will need an added step to preserve those trans maps. 
So make sure you have the hair selected in the surfaces tab and apply this. Once that's running, you're going to right click and copy selected surfaces. Then apply the hair base preset. This adds the filatune outline. And as you can see, it has deleted the opacity maps. So you will right click and paste selected surfaces. This reapplies the opacity maps. And then you can go in and pick whichever hair shader you like the look of. Next, we're going to process the environment highly recommend having the environment all parented to either one node or added to a grouping and that will make it easier to process. Go ahead and right click on the top node that the rest of the scene is parented to. Select, select children. This is why it's good to have a group because you can easily right click, select, select children, and it selects everything within that group. Now go to the environment tab and select environment base, apply this first. Now in this case, there's just one node. It is a simple scene, but for more complex scenes, I highly recommend adding all of your scene environment elements to one group. All right, once that's done running, you can adjust it with different presets. All right, and we're going to adjust her skin. So select her in the scene tab and then select her surfaces in the surfaces tab. Go to the skin folder and add whichever preset you like the look of. I think I like this one. After this we will go ahead and go through the other options that come with Easy Filatune. For now we're going to go ahead and just render this. To render in Filatune, you'll make to go to the Render Settings tab and where it says Engine up here at top, switch it to Viewport. And you'll want to have filament selected here. And I like to render out fairly large. The cool thing about filament is that it renders nearly instantaneously so you can render really large images and it doesn't take much time at all. And there we go. That is how you use Easy Filatune. Now next we will go through and I will show you all of the different presets. Once you're more familiar with the product, I recommend exploring the different settings and you'll find the combinations that you enjoy using the most. A nice thing to do is once you find all the combination of settings that you really like the most, you can always save that as a shader preset for future use. I really hope you guys enjoy this product as much as I do. I have found it extremely helpful for creating a wide variety of different NPR styles. At the end of the video, I will be sharing recipes on how to get certain looks. I also plan on sharing more recipes on the Daz3D forum. Please go to the Daz3D forum and look for the Easy Filatune post that I have made. And please share your creations with us. I would love, love, love to see what you guys do with this product. I'm so excited to buy this product and so excited to see what you guys do with it. Thank you so much for listening and please enjoy these recipes and please share your own recipes on the Daz3D forum.